Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and it's time for another songwriter showcase at our new spot, Taverna Costera, down in the Arts District, for a new weekly series. Hosted by friend of the channel, Hal Savar. We're excited to get back to this new location. This is our second week here in a row, and it's great to have a regular home for the showcase. Uh, with the acts lined up to play, this one ought to help make up for how cold it is outside. Brr. This is fine. This video is brought to you by U Gears. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Located in the Arts District across from the Arts Square, this venue is a restaurant, bar, live music venue, and more. If you haven't been there yet, you owe it to yourself to swing by the next showcase so you can check it out. Additionally, I live stream this event and you can watch all the action using the link down below. Incidentally, if you'd like to be featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, Hit me up using the Room 6 email address or the social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find all the things I'm up to online, as well as ways to support the channel financially, should you choose to. Thanks! Kicking things off like usual was our host, Hal Savar. When he's not working his day job as the human jukebox, Hal is working hard on his own original music. He's about to release his new song, Numb, soon, so make sure you follow him using his social media handle down in the description so you don't miss out. As usual, he grabbed everyone's attention and warmed the crowd up nicely for the rest of the night. Following Hal was David Wax, a showcase mainstay and songwriter extraordinaire. David's known for his storytelling and ability to transport listeners to various places of inspiration. He's always a treat to watch and always puts on a solid show of songwriting. This time was no different and we're so glad he graces the showcase stage as often as he does. New faces to the showcase, VKM, were up next. Represented by two of their members, the band put on a stripped-down set featuring bluesy, alternative elements that gave off tons of chill vibes and put everyone in a relaxed mood. They were a nice reset on the night, and I hope we see more of them in the future. The next performer was Mandolin, one-fourth of the band The May Before, an incredible songwriter in her own right. Playing some of her fan favorites, Mandolin's sound blends clever lyrics with a soulful backbone that had many a foot tapping and many a face smiling. It was so great to see her back on the showcase stage, and I look forward to more from her, and maybe, maybe more, maybe the four. <laughs> Did that make sense? And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what I love most about things like guitars? The engineering. All these parts separately do nothing, but together, they make something capable of inspiring and motivating creative thought and emotional content. We need emotional content. That's why I love U-Gears. Their amazing 3D self-assembly models are fun to assemble as well as educational. They can also serve as decorative pieces. Although the kits come with clear step-by-step -step instruction, they can also be used as puzzles. Inspired by steampunk fantasy, there's a clear view of all the moving components, including gears and pendulums, and it creates a unique, unforgettable, and fascinating look at everyday, and not so everyday, machinery. To top it all off, 10% of every purchase is being donated to the people of Ukraine who have been affected by the current conflict. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your order. Just enter coupon code SHOP10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to you, Gears, for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show, shall we? Coming up next was Chasmus, a powerful performer that's quickly becoming a showcase favorite. Normally in front of a band, this time Chasmus brought his looping station and built some amazing tunes. His music is full of passion and movement, and you can't help but get excited when he takes the stage. He did a great job and set the stage perfectly for the next act, which was... The last songwriter of the evening was the amazing Aubrey Digital, a showcase favorite and friend of the channel. Aubrey's performed with everything from a laptop and electric guitar to a full band in the past, but this time she kept things simple with just her voice and an acoustic guitar. Treating us to a brand new song, her music is a nice blend of technical guitar work and wordsmith quality lyrics that never fails to impress both musicians and music lovers alike. Her set was a perfect way to close out this night of incredible local talent. But wait, I lied. 
there was still one more performer. It was me. We don't need to talk about that. Overall, the second installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Taverna Costera went great. I'm so glad Hal asked me to livestream and review this new series of showcases, and I think you'll have a great time if you drop into one too. If you can't make it, check out the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you will swing by Taverna Costera if you're in the Arts District area. And I hope we'll see you at the next showcase, which is Thursday, 6 p.m. It's every Thursday. I'll be there live streaming and making more, you know, reviews. But it's it's awesome. You really should go. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click up there, ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.